Welcome back to the Michael Gaddis Show on AM 1170, The Answer. I am your host, Michael Gaddis of michaelgaddis.com and frontierloangroup.com. And as I mentioned before the break, Will Avzali, the lending manager for Frontier Loan Group, is here, and he's going to talk a little bit about VA purchases and VA uh, streamlined refinances. And the reason we're going to talk about it is because if you listen to the last segment, we were talking about down payment assistance programs and how you could you know, purchase a home without a down payment. Well, one of the best ways that you can purchase a home without a down payment is if you have VA eligibility. You can get 100% financing on a purchase. Isn't that right, Will? That is correct. 100% financing. That's very the, rare. The best thing ever. The best thing. VA loans are very special loans. They are very, very special loans because not only are you allowed to do 100% down, but the underwriting for VA loans and the eligibility requirements are more liberal and relaxed than other types of loans. Much more liberal. Uh, like you said, uh, underwriting guidelines, very, very relaxed. Non-existent. And, yeah, exactly. So, you know, and every lender is totally different. So you might walk into your typical bank and they might put a restriction that they need a 620, but like you said, we're mortgage brokers and we can go down to 580. Well, let me tell you something that, that a lot of you don't know about. For all of you who are listening right now, and, and that are that are veterans or that are active in the military. And you, let's say you had a short sale a year or so ago, and you don't think you can buy a house, you're wrong. You're wrong. You are wrong. VA is one of the only loans that will allow you to purchase another home 12 months from the date of a short sale. That is huge. So yeah. even if you don't yourself, didn't have a short sale, but you, one of your friends does, tell I'm telling them. you, tell them. Because mm -hmm. this is an amazing, People amazing think feature. People they have to wait for a long time. Well, and there, there's, there's a reason for that too, and that's because not every not every broker has lenders that exactly. will allow that. And see here, let me explain a little bit, and I don't mean to cut into Will's time, but I just want to mention mm -hmm. this: when you have lo VA requirements, banks put on extra requirements on them. Sometimes banks put extra requirements on them called overlays. Mm -hmm. Overlays are extra requirements on top of the VA requirements. So in order it's for their own That's their own rules yeah. on top of the VA rules. So there's two sets of can, rules. Can you give us an example? Like like credit for example. Well, let's say let's get let's say let's use the short sale for example. Sometimes uh, a person can, uh, an entity can put a a restriction on a loan. I mean saying if mm -hmm. we're going to get a VA loan, they can't have had a short sale in the past 3 years or 2 years. Mm -hmm. That overrides the VA requirements. Yep. Now, a straight VA 12 months. That's, that's all they that's want. That's all you want. So in this situation, if you go to a lender and that lender says, oh, I'm sorry, we can't do it because you've had a short sale in the past three years, that doesn't mean that you can't get the loan. That just means that particular broker or lender has either has overlays and doesn't have a lender that doesn't have overlays. Exactly. Frontier Loan Group has banks that do not have overlays, which means that you're we're using the, the core VA guidelines yep. without the extra added, you know, rules that other lenders are putting in App, that, you said it right you said it perfect well and i think that that's a really important thing for for people out there because there we're, we live in a uh, if there's a lot of military in our community a lot of military and a lot of people are not using the va loan i mean it's the best loan it literally blows my mind how people are out there renting properties that have va eligibility and they're not using it and they're receiving housing assistance which they can use to help qualify for a loan. And the other thing that you might not know is that VA loans do not have monthly mortgage insurance. Yes, yeah. yes. They do not have it versus FHA that has it. So an FHA versus VA, it is a hands-down victory no for the VA. It is a no-brainer for those loans. Mm -hmm. No-brainer. No-brainer. Like you said, uh, you know, the VA loan is the best loan. No down payment, easy, fl flexible underwriting, and... Um, no PMI, no private mortgage insurance. And that is That's a huge. big deal because what happens is when you factor in V or FHA eligibility, you've got to factor in the mortgage insurance That's into it. Usually, you know, a few hundred dollars a month. Yeah, so you're talking principal, interest, taxes, insurance, plus mortgage insurance. With VA loans, you don't have that. And the VA rates are very competitive. Very competitive. Very competitive rates. So I think the the whole 
point of this is that if you have VA eligibility or someone you know has VA eligibility, you need to, and they're renting, you need to tell them right now they need to purchase. They need to purchase. I don't mm-hmm. understand. It, like, boggles my mind. I don't have VA eligibility, and I, I wish, wish I did. I had. I know. I wish I did, too. <laughs> I'm too old to go back and join the military, or but I might do it just for the VA I eligibility. Yeah. I mean, seriously, that's how much it is, and I don't think people realize that. People don't know. No, I they mean, don't. Veterans have no idea that they're even that these programs even exist. And, you know, there's sometimes I meet people that don't even realize that uh, that they might be eligible. They might say, oh, well, I'm not sure. I was only in the reserves for a period of time. Yeah. You need to check and see what your eligibility is because if you have it, they I'm telling you. They don't it. They, just, they have no idea it's even It'll be there. a life changer. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a life changer. Now, you know, the the, the thing about VA is, you know, when the, the one, you know, kind of thing you got to be careful is the house that you buy with a VA loan has to be in pretty good conditions. They don't like to loan on houses that have any type of uh, deferred maintenance, things like that. Or so, safety issues. That's right. So you can't go and like get a house and flip it. Not, it's not one of those types of loans. It's one of the house. It's a loan that you go to to purchase a house that you want to live in, and that's in really good shape. That's kind of what it is. You said it, just like the FHA. They're both government loans. They have to meet a minimum standard. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. You're listening to The Michael Gaddis Show on AM 1170, The Answer. I am Michael Gaddis of michaelgaddis.com and frontierloangroup.com. I'm continuing my conversation with Will Avzali, the lending manager for Frontier Loan Group, and with Michelle Herrera of Michael Gaddis Realty Group. So, Will, let's talk a little bit more about these VEAs. So what, what are some of the things from an underwriting perspective that might make it better for um, you know a home, I mean, a potential homeowner to use a VA versus, an, like, let's say, an FHA or a, a conventional loan? Well, compared to a conventional loan, like you said, number one, zero down payment, no private mortgage insurance. But as far as underwriting goes, they're much more uh, flexible with, with credit. They're much more flexible with your debt-to-income ratio, um, you know, a lot more than a conventional loan. FHA is pretty much in line with the VA, but, you know, you're going to save a lot more money with the VA loan. Yeah, I think that I think that the VA is definitely the way to go. And I think you mentioned the two under that I was hoping you were going to mention. Yeah, one is credit. The, one is the credit. So you don't have to have perfect credit. So if you're sitting there going, "Gosh, I have VA eligibility," and it sounds like it'd be a great thing, but unfortunately, my credit's a little bit challenged. Don't let that stop you because it is a forgiving loan when it comes to that. The underwriting criteria is forgiving, mm-hmm. so you don't necessarily have to have top-notch, top-shelf credit in order no. to in order to qualify. So the other thing that I, I think you, you mentioned was that the debt-to-income ratio is more mm-hmm. flexible. And what, what people don't realize is when you buy a home, you have to – they take into consideration what your new PITI is going to be. And PITI means principal, interest, taxes, and insurance payment. They add in your recurring uh, revolving debt. Mm-hmm. And they that they get a number, and they divide that by your monthly gross income. And your recurring – that is all your minimum payment? Payments? Yeah, the minimum payments. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Credit That's cards, a very good point. student loans. That's right. Yeah, because sometimes when I say, well, how much do you owe? So people immediately start telling me what they owe and on they their credit scared. cards. Oh, yeah. I owe you know, $3,000. Your minimum payment. That's not what they're looking at. What they're looking at is your monthly obligation. The $30 monthly payment That's, on that yeah, $3,000 that credit card. Is. That's right. That's a car, very good point. There, so, so don't let that d- deter you. And I think what you should do is if you're in one of those situations where you're like, gosh, it sounds great. I really should own a house. I think, you know, Michael right and, and and you know that it sounds like the best thing in the world we should do that um i i, I <laughs> think right. yeah don't yeah, yeah, and michael's right <laughs> michael's always right not always but uh, yeah <laughs> anyway <laughs> I, I think that what you time. should what you should do is you should contact will of a frontier loan group and just let him take a look at your situation i mean we do a lot with with va up uh in my office and mm-hmm. and will is the lending manager there so it would it would really do you uh, a benefit to at least let him take a look at your scenario and even if you don't qualify now you know he might be able to tell you when you can or what you need to do to get qualified i'll give you the uh, step-by-step blueprint on how to get to you know to an approval well, that's great. So after the after the uh, break here, we're going to continue our conversation with Will Avzali, the lending manager of Frontier Loan Group, Michelle Herrera, the, the, uh, Michael Gaddis Realty Group, and uh, you're listening. I did. You're listening to the Michael Gaddis Show <laughs> on AM 1170. The answer. AM 1170theanswer.com. Hear us anywhere in San Diego and the world. AM 1170. The answer.